a snail-headed, stilt-walking conquistador led a throng of surreal supporters through the streets of St. Petersburg. Some fans came as complete costume creations. Others stuck with simple tributes to Salvador Dali's trademark twirly mustache. Behind them, a warehouse repurposed nearly 30 years ago to hold one of the world's most imaginative art collections. Ahead, a museum that's as much a work of art as the paintings inside it. You know, Salvador Dali's museum in Spain, we've been there before, and it's a really cool piece of architecture. And the old museum was a box that wasn't interesting at all, and this one's like a really cool piece of architecture. So I think people that are interested in architecture will come to see this as well as the artwork. So it's a really nice mix of both. The Infanta Cristina, daughter of the king and queen of Spain, Salvador Dali's homeland, looked on Warrior. as this glass and concrete Temple of the Unusual was open to visitors just after noon Tuesday. We are so blessed here in St. Petersburg to have art like this assembled for the world to see, not just for us. For the first time, this irreplaceable art is protected from hurricanes. For the first time, there's enough space to display the entire collection together. For the first time, the dream of a museum as grand and strange and wonderful as Dali's art has been surrealized. In St. Petersburg, Grayson Com, 10 News.